see Joe, some of our other guys on the offense, some guys on the offensive line kind of handle, you know, handle the offense, right? And it, it's full team leadership that we need, right? But at the end of the day, like I am in control of my tight end room. I'm in control of the offense. I know what's going on in the side of the ball. Having guys like Amari that, you know, we can trust that, hey, if there's an issue on the defensive side of the ball, like I know he's got to take care of. Guys like him, guys like, you know, Jalen McCullough is one of our safeties and, and just guys like Warren Burrell at corner. Like we know that each position group, uh, Aaron Beasley at linebacker, there's all these guys that you can look at that are just um, super well-trained leaders. Um, and Amari is definitely, definitely one of them. He wouldn't be here if he wasn't. Jacob, with all the challenges that student athletes have right now, yeah. NIL, gambling, mental yeah. health, transfer portal temptations, all that. Sure. What's the biggest challenge, do you think, to kind of help keep guys right that maybe needs the most repetition and attention to try to make sure guys stay right? Um, I think if you if you focus every day, uh, we call it keeping the main thing the main thing, right? There's all these distractions. There's all these different things that are trying to pull you different ways, whether it's NIL or, or um, you know, like obviously like women and, and – going out and doing all these things that you know we really shouldn't be doing gambling like all these different things um there's just things that you have to understand that as a cultural player right now you can't gamble you can't do all these other things like you can't like obviously the hazing stuff comes up like you can't treat people like that and just it's a matter of living your life the right way and understanding that right now the main thing is that i become the best football player that i possibly can and at the end of the day if i'm not doing that then you know, I need one of my teammates to check me. And then if we're all doing that, then we'll be just fine. Who are some guys that have caught your attention in the offseason? Um, young guys, old guys. And anyone that stood out? Anybody. Um, so I really like the way that Dylan Sampson has come along um, in the running back room. I really like the way that Ramel has kind of continued to develop. I think you saw a lot of, of his talent last year. Um, but just him continuing to put in work, extra work every single week, um, every single day. Um, I really... I mentioned earlier, really enjoying the addition of McAllen Castles to, to our room. Um, just kind of the person, the personality that he brings to our room and also having another guy that's in the same boat as me as far as uh, being the old guy, I guess, in the room has um, definitely been really good. That Alabama rivalry has historically kind of gone with the streaks. Yeah. And a bunch of Alabama wins, a bunch of Tennessee wins. Yeah. Do you feel like Coach Heifel's got the program in a position where you could start running off the streak in that one? I mean, sure, I hope so, yeah. Sure. I think that, you know, we were talking about earlier, like we expect to win every game and, and Alabama is no different. Alabama is, you know, obviously an amazing program, amazing team, amazing talent. Um, we're in the same boat. We're amazing team, amazing talent, amazing program, have a lot of storied wins. Like it's just a matter of who goes out there and wants it more on that day. Yeah. What does that mean? How does that manifest in itself? Um, I think that means, you know, nobody putting himself above the program uh, kind of starts with that. Coach talks about, about respect a lot, and respect goes goes three ways, right? It's from a player to the coach. So understanding that no or no player should be, you know, talking back to a coach, should be, you know, using foul language towards a coach, right? There should be a level of respect as, first of all, my elder. Second of all, someone that is my an authority figure. Third of all, someone that's trying to help me, right? All coaches are trying to do whenever they're, you know, getting on your butt and correcting you or whatever. It's just trying to help you. They're trying to become the best player that you can be. Um, so there's got to be, you know, player to coach. This also has to be player to player. So that means, like, I've got to respect Joe. Joe has to respect me. And I've got to respect all my teammates on the other side of the ball, you know, when we're in fall camp, right? And, you know, things get tough and you're getting tired and you're hot and you, you're, you know, you don't want to be there. I can't lash out against one of my teammates and become disrespectful because now that breaks the bond that we have, right? That damages that bond. And then, and then the third one is just... Uh, you know, coach to player. I've never, never doubted, never questioned the respect that Coach Heifel has for me as a person, uh, for me as a player as well. Um, and that goes for all of our coordinators, all of our, you know, position coaches, assistants, everything like that. The amount of respect that is circulated around the building is, is really unmatched. And, and I think that that's the reason why our culture has become. You know, Joe Milton said, go ahead. One more question. Joe Milton said that his biggest step in his game is that he's been able to trust himself. He's always yeah. had the high IQ, but where do you see the trust in himself shining in the game? Um, just his arm, right? That guy has got absolute, probably the biggest arm in the nation, and I think just him being able to trust the fact that, yeah, I got that receiver running. Like, I'm just going to let it go and, like, understand that we've had the repetitions, we've had the time put in practice to where, you know, I know where that guy's going to be. Now he just has to trust it and just let it go, understand he's, you know, he's not going to overthrow, he's not going to underthrow, he's not going to miss the ball. Trusting himself to really just let it rip. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks.